Hello, welcome to Horror of Spice, where everything's nice. I'm Horror of Spice. And I'm Mrs. Horror of Spice. It is a special week. For we bring to you Ed Wood Week. We've got five films, Monday through Friday, all Ed Wood, written, directed, and produced. First, we have Plan 9 from Outer Space. Considered some of the worst movie ever made, here is Ed Wood's incredible story of outer space and beyond the grave. Aliens are resurrecting the dead to march on Washington, but they really just want peace. Vampira, Tor Johnson, and the late Bella Lugosi in his final film top the cast. This is the one Wood thought he would re be remembered for. Here is a film which never ceases to be amazed or entertained. And we decided to pair that with the General's Hot Sauce. Get close, danger close. <laughs> I just love the top. It's uh, American grown uh, cayenne and habanero peppers, distilled white vinegar, salt, and garlic. Nice. And this is a product of Columbia, South Carolina. Veteran owned and all sourced from American um, farms. Oh my, look at that. Woo! Guys, it smells amazing. you want to support a veteran owned company this is one to definitely support link in the description to where uh, you can find this one two three mm. I was about to say it didn't has it doesn't have a kick but now it's kicking in no oh, it's kicking Plan 9 from Outer Space, people, is not a bad film. And anybody who says that Plan 9 from Outer Space is a bad film is an idiot. Okay? I'm sorry. What exactly is so bad about the film? What? I've seen worse acting in some wild eye. I've seen uh, worse effects in some low-budget films. Just saying. Why all the hate for Ed Wood? Seriously, think about it. I mean, why are these considered worse than most of the crap that gets put out that's not any good? Why is this worse than that? Ask yourself that. And this copy comes with notes from the person who put this together. There's supplemental notes too. Here's what they have to say on Plan 9 from Outer Space. Wood once said, if you want to know me, see Glenn and Glenda. That's me. That's my story. No question. But Plan 9 is my pride and joy. Work on Wood's magnum opus began approximately a month after the death of Bella Lugosi, who was to have starred in Wood's next picture instead of major role in the new movie. The former horror star is reduced to a strangely ethereal presence intercuts with footage of a double Woods chiropractor Dr. Thomas R. Mason who also appears in the Talking Dead husband in the seance scene of Night of the Ghouls and without four days with another two days shooting of, at a local cemetery Plan 9 drew together numerous threads from popular culture to the usual zeitgeist surrounding uh, Ed Wood, flying saucers, television cult figures, vampira, flamboyant acquaintances, John Bunny, uh, Breckenridge as the ruler, and an impassioned though muddled anti-war message all rolled into a 79 minutes Wood used his usual stock company, such as Tor 
Johnson, Paul Marco, Conrad Brooks, the psychic Criswell, and cinematographer Bill Thompson, Johnson, Vampira, and Criswell have over the years with Plan 9 increased pop cult popularity become legends of their own right. Tor Johnson, a huge Swedish wrestler known as the Angel, appeared in at least 25 films going back to at least an early Bud Borcher film of 1948, Behind Locked Doors, also known as the Human Gorilla, in which he plays a psychopath, a Salem inmate who turns into a homicidal uh, at Ring of the Bell. So, literally, long history. A nice long history. Hey, Leon, what do you think of this? I truly do not understand why most humans consider this to be a bad film. I truly... I hear you, Leon. Yeah, it is a... I, I love Plan 9 from Out of Space. I remember seeing this, of course, decades ago. Um, and didn't know who Ed Wood really was. I really didn't know. And it wasn't until later that I knew and I started watching these and, you know, I, I will tell you, Plan 9 is entertaining. It was real fun. Um, I don't know why it had so much hate because it was, you know, come on, Van Barilla is in it. You get to... You get to see her star in a really great role, and um, it's it's historical. It really is. I mean, how many people have seen Plan 9 from Outer Space, really? And didn't know about Ed Wood or about his life. So, I engage you to learn this week a little bit more about this guy who... Um, produced this film. Directed and written. Yeah, everything. Well, for Plan 9 out of, uh, from Outer Space, I give, uh, four out of five peppers. For the general hot sauce, I give five out of five peppers. Um, Ed Wood is, uh, not something that you can appreciate every single day, so therefore it gets four out of five peppers on my account. Hmm. I would give it five out of five peppers. You can appreciate it every day? Yeah. Okay. I could. What about the hot sauce? The hot sauce was good. I would say that's about a four out of five peppers. Okay. I think it'll be a good addition to the house. Well... From Horror of Spice. And Mrs. Horror of Spice. Y'all stay creepy now. Bye. Bye.